What up, what up? All right, you got another big boy cooking video right now, man. We're gonna go grab some groceries and we're gonna cook something simple and healthy up tonight, man. And today, you know what I was thinking about? Uh, teriyaki beef. That's something that I love to eat. You know, a lot of times we go out and make it, or go out and make it, go out and eat it and buy it. But today, we're gonna stay home today and make it ourselves, man. So uh, we're gonna go get the ingredients, we're gonna cook on up, and uh, we're gonna get busy. Oh, check it out. Drove the T-Rex today, man. Some people have been asking, you still got the T-Rex? You still got the Benzo, the S580? Because you got the lamb and yup, I still got them right here. It's my highlighter, my highlighter uh, squad, you know? I got the T-Rex in orange. I got the, uh, the lamb truck in highlighter green or yellow, whatever you guys want to call it. And I got the Benz, man, straight stealth mode, all murdered out. So um, we're still whipping them right here. But uh, yeah, let's go get this food and uh, cook something up. So I'm hungry. Since we've been coming to the same store, Vons, uh, kind of know where the Asian section is right here, Asian cuisine. And uh, yeah, we're gonna look for some teriyaki. We got the, oh look at, I see some teriyaki right here. I wonder if they do have some type of healthy teriyaki, you know? That I don't know. You know what I really been wanting to try? Look at this. Kung Pao stir fry. I wonder if this would be bomb. Look at this one. Spicy something pepper stir fry. Sweet chili sauce. I don't that know. Sweet chili sauce looks What's fine. up with this Kung Pao though? I look, I like Kung Pao. I might have to switch from teriyaki beef to Kung Pao, I don't know. I might grab this one in case for another day, you know? Let's see, oh, they got this stuff. But look at Kung Pao stir fry. I bet you this shit, 20 calories per serving. It's not bad. Maybe I'll grab this one. Maybe I'll make Kung Pao chicken. All right, man, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go for the Kung Pao chicken. You know, teriyaki, uh, teriyaki beef, you guys already know. So I'm gonna get chicken instead. So right here, I looked it up. It has 15 servings up in here. So uh, 20 calories per serving. Let's say you use, you know, even half of it. Or actually, if you use 10 servings, which is like more than half, probably like this whole thing, 200 calories in here. So I'll probably use half of this thing, 140 calories. So keep that in mind, you got 140 calories right here, which is not too much, man, for a big meal that night. We still got the rice, we got the chicken. And uh, you know what I think they have right here? Uh, what you put in it is you put the zucchini in the Kung Pao chicken. So we'll look for some zucchini. Uh, we got the zucchini, we're gonna go get the chicken, and then, um, can add peanuts in there but I probably won't add the peanuts so we'll get the zucchini and uh, chicken man so yeah looks good I'm gonna try this out first time I'll let you know how it tastes we gotta go cook it up let's go uh, this one the boneless one chicken breast two pounds that's it two breasts cool Here's a real for you. We'll see you in a quarter, but the travel is more labor for me during the day. Send your messages as far as you need with help from the U.S. Post. A little over, you need one out? Yeah, I took one out, oh, took one out. Okay. All right. Got the chicken, got the chicken. Check it out, shout out to Buzzle. Buzzle put me up on game on these low carb balance uh, tortillas. I never had them, but it says they're not too bad. Low carb. You know Buzzle, man. Buzzle is the king of uh, carb counting and all that kind of stuff. This is the one, though. These carb balance. Because those are whole wheat down there. I don't know. I'm gonna grab them. I'm gonna try them out, Buzzle. We'll see if they're really bomb or not. Let's try them. Here's my box right here, greens. It's baby spinach and butter lettuce. I think, yeah, that's what I got. It's the last one, I guess. Make sure it's, it looks good. Got 
gonna get that. Shout out to Cali for putting me up on game. The bananas. Let's see which one I want. I like to get them a little bit green because you ain't gonna be able to eat the whole thing in one day. See? Let me get like this one, you see? A little green because there's a couple riper ones in there. Yeah, this one's good right here. None of them are ready. These ones may be too ready right here. Oh, too, too ready. This one seems pretty good. Pineapple. Hey, the pineapple. Sandia. This is a good one right here. This is my fruit, man. Got the fruit. The strawberries weren't no good, so now I'm gonna have to pass on the strawberries. But uh, the watermelon was pretty good. The pineapple was really good, so I have to go with that, man. But yeah, cups of grapefruit. Big Joe loves these. I know Big Joe loves these. Is there a dollar sixty-nine for this? It's tripping. That's crazy. I'm good with that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Apples. I did like those apples. So. I've, I've ate a lot of apples in my lifetime. Anyone that's pretty much been busted has ate a lot of apples and uh, become an apple connoisseur, you know? You find out there's Fiji apples. You find out that there's uh, red, what are they called? Red ladies or something apples. You find out um, there's those gala apples. You find out there's um, the green ones, you know? Uh, there's a lot of different apples, man. To me, those galas are fire. I like the Fiji ones, um, but I'm not so caught up on uh, those red ones. I forget what they're called, like pink something, red something. I'm not so caught up on those ones, man. But uh, but these honey crisp ones, I don't know if they're like a genetic one or something. You know, they made. But uh, these are fire. They're fire. Yeah, uh, I like these honey. Honey crisp, they're crunchy. You know, they're real crunchy. I like the I like the more crunchier ones. You know, I'm not into the soft apples. So, but yeah, in the pin, they give you a lot of. Oh yeah, see, look, these pink ladies. Ah, I don't like those. I had those. I'm not really feeling these. Extra fancy. These apples, I don't know. I don't know what these are. Might be bomb though. But yeah, these honey crisp ones, I like these. Crunchy, good flavor, sweet. Good. Red Delicious? Nah. These ones, super thick skin, waxy, you know, a little bitter. Definitely not my favorite, but people must like them, you know. See these galas? However you say it, these are pretty fire. You know what? I got these for whatever. I forget why I got these, but um, these are pretty bomb. You know, go with these right here. You got that for the stir fry. Oh yeah, for the stir fry. But you know what? I was munching on these as a little snack. A healthy snack, you know? Can't go wrong with some carrots, you know? So, put all that in there. But yeah, we're looking for, for a zucchini. Spy usually eats these all the time, but I don't know where they're at. But yeah, right here, here it is. I don't even, this is we. I don't even want to grab that shit, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Look at a zucchini. <laughs> Throw me in a few berries right here if you help. Yeah, those are fire. Well, these are little ones though. Oh, you got to the big ones. So you got the bigger ones. There's some bigger ones right here. Help you boost your immune system. Fire. Immune system right here. Man, so 
Check it out. That's how I'm, that's how I'm looking. Look at that. Healthy right there, man. Healthy. Hope to hope that you guys can eat healthy too, man. So it's hard. I'm starving right now. Come to the store all hungry. That shit is hard. Look at it. Come over here. I want to eat everything. Look at it. Spot this. Look at eggnog, salt water, taffy. You know, this one. Look. Blue raspberry, taffy. Look at it. Strawberry dip. You know, white chocolate. Out of control. Cop the blueberries too. I saw today on Savage's story that he had some oatmeal with look like some honey or something with some blueberries. That should look bomb, Savage. I was like, damn, maybe I give me some blueberries, maybe give me some oatmeal, you know? Oh, that's what I got last time right here. Damn, they only got one left too. I can't do this though. The ranch I bet you's gonna taste nasty. I don't like Thousand Island. I don't like mustard. So, damn. Looks like that's it. Looks like it's the best flavor. It's all gone. So I'm gonna have to definitely try to get another flavor. I don't know what other like zero low calorie dressings out there, man, but comment down below and let me, cause dressing has a lot of fat up in there, you know? So see what other low calorie shit they got. I just don't know about that low calorie ranch, dog. That shit just sounds gross, you know? But Italian, I say I could do that. I don't know. All right, so in the morning too, with the blueberries, I got some cream of wheats. I don't know if you guys ever had these, but I got the instant ones. These are bomb right here. Um, that was those blueberries, but I got one thing I gotta be careful with. It's nothing that crazy, but look at, got me a little bit of honey, man. Bomb right here. So that's probably the worst thing. I don't wanna say the worst thing I got, uh, but the most like, sugary one so besides that just fruits man fruits and vegetables some meat that's about it let's check out oh but look i was selling spy bomb right here all this peanut butter right here fire i love peanut butter man especially another thing with the pin dog you eat a lot of peanut butter in the pin man and then look at you got right here imagine peanut butter look at i like peanut butter with um what you gonna call it uh can't even think but with uh not even belgian waffles i'm tripping with pancakes man peanut butter pancakes with whatever little anjemima right here shout out to to cali's um great aunt anjemima right here bomb oh no that's miss butter buttersworth that's miss buttersworth where's anjemima that's something else didn't they change the name? Oh, maybe they, I don't know. Yeah, I think something happened with that. Oh, really? Well, yeah, shout out to Cali's great aunt. But, yeah. But the, uh, pancakes? Bomb. B -b 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 bomb So, anyways, we out. We out. All right. First, cut up this chicken, baby. I'm gonna cut up this chicken, man. We're gonna make that Kung Pao chicken. Panda Express style. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we, you know what? Last time we made the mistake from cooking the uh, the broccoli first, and then that made it uh, become a little soft. So today, you wanna have zucchini a little bit, you know, a little bit crunchy. So I'm gonna cook it, I guess, right after the chicken's a little bit cooked, you know, cause that's the first thing we want. And I'll throw the zucchini in there, man. So I guess we'll do that second instead of first. But yeah, we got two pounds of chicken right here. I'll probably eat a little over a pound, man. Just not gonna spy about it. Like, you know, Stan Efferding, which he was the first person to really help me with my diet and to help Big Joe out with the diet. And he would always tell us that, um, you know, meat, eating meat, uh, you know, especially chicken, but eating meat and uh, steak, you can kind of eat as much as you want because especially with chicken, it's super low calories, but don't be afraid, man. It's good protein. And don't be afraid to eat as much, you know, steak, which you want lean steak and lean chicken, but don't be afraid to eat as much protein as you want, man. Um, you know, so... Don't be afraid to eat that. What you gotta count more is like your, your carbs, right? Like 
don't eat as much uh, rice and things like that. But when it comes to um, what you would call it, meat, man, feel free to grub down on all the meat. You know, the the meat is definitely not bad, especially especially just chicken. This shit is so low in fat. You know, so feel free. If I want to eat this whole two pounds, man, I'll eat it. It's only gonna be a few hundred more calories and you know it's not empty calories these are calories that are gonna feed your muscles you know help you grow so don't be afraid to eat more meat you know if you have to choose something not to eat choose to not eat you know a little extra rice or whatever or uh, you know fatty foods and things like that breads and stuff but uh, eat as much meat as you want man the meat is your friend so yeah, I'm cut up. You know, I'm being picky, but I'm cutting off all the fat, man. I'm just, I don't need the extra fat, and I don't like the fat on the chicken, man. So, you know, cutting off the all the little fatty pieces. But um, yeah, with the kung pao chicken, I'm gonna do it like I guess how panda is. They just cut it up in like little little chunks, man. So. That's what I'm doing, cutting this shit up in, in some, some good little chunks. And uh, we'll, get it, we'll get it fried up as soon as I cut up enough meat. I'll use a oil, which, you know, real stir fry, they use the oil. And you guys can, man, if, you know, Stan always told me this too. If you guys don't know who Stan Efferding is, you guys definitely gotta look him up. He's a pro bodybuilder and a pro power lifter. And he ha he still has a world record for um, classic raw. I believe it's uh, a total of 2,303 uh, in um, classic raw, you know? So, um, but anyways, and he's a pro bodybuilder, man. He used to go at it with Johnny Jackson. But he's the one that really put me up on game on the diet, put Big Joe up on, the, on game on this diet. And uh, he always told me that for sure, you know, the butter, uh, because it is milk, all that's in this butter is literally just milk. It definitely gets through your body. Oil always takes a lot longer to digest and oil is going to stick to your fat more. It's going to be harder to, um, to get rid of the oil out of your body. So, um, but uh, butter, on the other hand, that's just milk, you know, so a lot easier to digest on your body. So I always use butter, and to be honest, for me, man, the butter is easier on my stomach than the oil. So I always like to use the butter. But um, you know, whatever you guys' preference is. So, but butter for me. A bit of a uh, pepper, you know. A little bit of garlic powder. A bit of garlic. salt man which they make you know season like this garlic powder salt and uh, pepper they, they make a seasoning like that you know but I just have all three because you can give however much of each you want but some basic you know some basic seasoning before I put the real stuff in the real Kung Pao sauce from Panda man I'm looking forward to that haven't had that panda. I, I'm not gonna lie. I like that. I like panda kung pao, man. That shit is, to me, is bomb. And then we have our uh, zucchini right here, man. Honestly, first time I ever really cooked zucchini in my life, man. So, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to cook it, but I think you just cook it like any other green vegetable, right? Just, you know. Stir fry it in the pan. Yeah, I guess so because I'm trying to think when they cook it at like those benihanas. That's how they do it, right? They kind of even cook it just like this. So. Simple as that. Already got the chicken. And I cook it on real low heat, man. 
You don't want your chicken to burn and you don't want it to stick to the pan. That's a headache. So, cook it on low. All right, I'm gonna add the zucchini in. And let that kind of, uh, you know, stir up. The chicken's almost ready. So now we'll let the zucchini, you know, cook a little bit in there. I'm gonna put the top on there. And as soon as the zucchini gets a little bit soft, I'm gonna start stir frying that in there and really make that Kung Pao chicken, man. I'm excited, I'm hungry. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Looking good, looking good. So, pretty much ready for the sauce. Everything's looking fire. I turned up the heat a little bit more just so we could really get that like stir fry, you know, where stuff gets a little bit, you know, getting crispy up in there a little bit, you know? Like I said, we use half of this, we're using 140 calories. So, sheesh. Let me, let me see if I can even shake it up, but I think it's just that thick. We're barely, we're not even, when you turn it up see I need to even turn it up a little more because then it starts making that sauce and everything like caramelized I think it's called you know sheesh 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 that's looking bomb right there that's looking bomb I'm gonna microwave up my rice. After all that, microwaveable rice. <laughs> one cup. To be honest, this this is actually a little less than one cup, but we'll call it one cup. There we go. Two cups of white rice. About a pound and a half or so of chicken. Oh yeah, this is this is good to go now. This is perfect. This is really Panda Express style right here. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. All right, let's do a little taste test, you call it. Chicken and uh, uh, zucchini. Let's see if this really does taste like Panda Express. Mmm, yeah. Tastes pretty bomb, I can't lie. Can't lie, Panda. Panda's a little bit more spicier, I think. So I got, I'm gonna add some hot sauce, you know, I'll add some amante and uh, sriracha, but it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good, pretty good. So let's see. Well, I forget what these always are. They are 300 calories right here. So we got 600 calories and I think a pound of chicken or so is about 300 calories. So, um, I don't know, we'll look it up, but I'm almost positive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speculate about 350 maybe. Pound of chicken breast. Let's see. All right, so about 500 calories is in a pound. It says like 498. Um, let's say 500 uh, calories in a pound of chicken. So like I said, maybe I have a pound and a half up in there. So 750 plus 600, that's about, uh, what, 1350, man. So I got 1350 plus uh, 140. So I'd say about 1500 calories right here, man. Perfect, you know, perfect, man. Because I've only ate one meal today, which was probably maybe 600, 700 calories. So... I'm right on track, man. I'm way, I'm way under uh, 3,000, man. The goal is to stay under 3,000 right now, and I'm way under. So I'm doing, I'm doing good, man. So there it is, right there. It's looking bomb. Let's go try. 
make it a little bit more spicier with the Monte. Uh, you guys can get this one at strengthcartel.com. Click this link right here and go get yours, man. But um, yeah, you know, these are meals that you guys can make and use to switch things up, especially when you're dieting down. You guys know down 10 pounds, well, nine pounds, I'm lying nine pounds uh, this year so far. So um, we got to keep going, man. We got to keep it entertaining and switching things up. So, so yeah, got the amante and then we got, we got the rice, we got the zucchini, and we got the Panda Express Kung Pao chicken, man. If you guys are like me, I love uh, Panda Express Kung Pao chicken. Good flavor, tastes fire. Um, but we use chicken breasts instead of like just regular rib meat and stuff like that and um made at the house so much better no oil no oil on this just a little bit of butter but um let's try it out mm. that's good I gotta get another bite that's good right there man and uh i'm not the biggest cooker you know you guys see I go for the faster meals because I do get hungry. When we cook with Chef Rush, we do the extravagant shit, you know what I mean? We take all day, but when I get home, you know, I had to work out. We worked out in the morning, um, went to Tacos La Pina, helped out over there, had my two boys all day long, you know, now, uh, now we're grubbing. We still got to work on the computer, so we don't want to spend all night cooking something up so we whip this up real bomb something different hit your taste buds different and um yeah fire guys mm. this is gonna hit the spot so appreciate you guys tuning in don't forget like comment and subscribe to the channel hey and comment down below what other quick healthy meals we got we could cook up man because I'm sure you guys know a lot of good recipes out there that are real quick and healthy that we could share to the whole YouTube community, man. So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Keep hanging.